Wrapped in here. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. I need to get out. The voices are calling me. dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box in her will. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. Time to gather my things. <laughs> what was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? Love this song. Oh, I'd better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. Oh my, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down. Ah, the amazing adventures of Nora Everhart. spending so much time reading this book, I think I've learned a thing or two about Polynesian culture. All right, now it's open. This strange and sharp relic came in the package I received at home. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. Harry Everhart, my husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it, and some 
enigmatic instructions. We're all set, madam. The motor boat is ready. Hmm. I think I've overpacked. Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. Lower the motorboat. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days then. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Well, here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world, just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, old pal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refused to even name. Everything is familiar. So familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? This, this can't be a coincidence. idyllic island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? There's definitely something strange about this place. Let's see if I can find any trace of you around here. I know it's just resonance, but I do love listening to the sea in them. I'll leave my things in the boat until I find somewhere to camp. So somebody was on this island recently. Well, that's a vivo, a flute that the Polynesians play with their nose. I won't be playing that. A miniature va'a, a Polynesian outrigger canoe. Beautifully crafted, too. This machete is completely worn down. The blade is dull. A note written in French. I only understand two words, ill and mort, island and death. It must be a warning about the dangers of the island. I feel Quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. Those markings seem to represent the sea. 
I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. Looks like it opens from the other side. These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. It may look peaceful, but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. What a lovely flower offering. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? Well, that did something. Hmm, something's missing here. What? Someone carved my name in the back of this Unu. carving tool. This box. CW. Those are the initials on the brass key. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. Well, look what's hidden here. This may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. Is that... Harry? Harry! You were here! You were here and I found you, damn it. Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. I'd better check my journal. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. But a Polynesian version. Ah, oh, it's 
been years since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. What a beautiful mountainous landscape. Feel the air is denser here in this mangrove swamp. Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. I thought Colorado was too far from home when we moved there. Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. But I have to do it with you, old pal. Bonefish hook. This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another symbol inside it. So beautiful. <laughs> what were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets. Lorikeet feathers scattered around this uni. I'll draw the symbol in my journal. This looks like cargo from an earlier voyage, long before Harry's expedition.
guess I hit the jackpot. That's my ticket across the river, then. How long have I been walking? I've lost track of the time. Wow, what is this place? I'd better have a look around this abandoned village. Harry's crew might have stayed here. like something straight out of an adventure novel. The Everhard Expedition. They set up camp here. like some of the crew members didn't get along too well. A forbidden ritual? Fascinating. Let me record it. So, you said you've been on this island before. Yes. Some years ago. I made a rookie mistake. I did it for my fishing boat to go to what looked like a better spot. Less than an hour had gone. I went suddenly. My va'a. My canoe overturned. And I got this lovely souvenir from that mistake. Heaven, what gave you that scar? not a what, but a who. I don't know. I didn't get a good look at it. But it seemed like a secret truth I never seen. Anyway, I was lucky enough to reach that Whiteson beach. The one where we landed on the island. A man came three days later and got me out of there. He brought me to the port of Papete without speaking a single word. Time passed, and I promised myself that I would go on with my life and forget about this damn island. Why did you agree to return to the island, then? I need to know what happened to me, to discover the truth. I don't know if you get me. Absolutely. <laughs> 